<gasps> oh, hey, it's you. Hello there. I'm Garrison. And you're not. And this is my vlog number 10. Politics! Question mark, exclamation point, question mark. On my Galaxy Tab A. And today is Wednesday, October 26, 2016. Oh, it's you. <laughs> he, he stunned me. Where'd you go? The hey? Ah! Oh, hey, what you doing over there? You don't know. What? Okay, anyhow. Ah, this is Donkey, and I'm Garrison, and you're not. And anyhow, this is a fascinating digital world. I'm in 480p right now because... This is my tablet. I don't like using the back camera, which is 720p, or my iPod for this kind of stuff. If you want to see me in 1080p, then watch my iPod vlogs, which is on my other channel, Mr. Blue For You. Anyways, we're talking about politics day. Politics in the United States of America. I know, frightening, huh? Yeah, it was, used to be. It was uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, and then there's Hillary Clinton. <laughs> and then there's the other two people. Um, I think Jer Gary, Gary Johnson, or is, is that his name? I think so. And then there's Jill, what's her face? I forgot what her name was. Anyways, two other people. And according to the polls, for right now, Donald Trump has 45%. You're gonna, what are you doing? You, you're, you're, you're praying for the asteroid that hit you? Okay. Anyhow, and, uh, and uh, Hillary Clinton has 43%. What are you doing? You're, you're looking, you're, you're hoping an earthquake happens? Okay. And the other two have the rest of the, whatever, 5%, 2%. I, it doesn't add up to 100%. It's still like almost, uh, I mean, if it's add 40, 40, it's 80. There's still like 20% because the margin of error is like 5% anyways. So either one could be like 40, 40. And then the other two would 10, 10. It'd be like, no one would win. It'd be a tie. Then who decides? Congress? They throw, what do they do? They throw a coin up in the air and say, that's your new president, everybody. <laughs> if Donald Trump becomes president, this is what I'm going to do. Ah! Ah! And if Hillary Clinton becomes president, this is what I'm going to do. Ah! Ah, help me. <laughs> and if someone else becomes president, mm -hmm. I don't even know who these people are. Do you? I'd be confused, like, mm -hmm. like. <laughs> He's confused. <laughs> huh? Huh? Yeah, you know. Who? Who is this Gary Johnson? I think his name is Gary Johnson. Oh, it's Jill. What? I forgot what her last name was. Anyways, she's Greenpeace, and he's a libertarian. Yeah, and then there's Republicans and the Democrats. But so far, the Republicans chose a really crazy nutball because of all the voting. I can't believe that. And uh, the and the Democrats chose a really deceitful, deceiving. Lying person, but they're both full of hot air. And who knows if Donald Trump's promises will actually come out to be anything? Because um, Obama promised a lot of stuff and <laughs> didn't happen. Like his Obamacare, which is really called Universal Health Game, that didn't work out, did it? No, the prices are going up on that. <sighs> and Hillary Clinton, she's promising to raise taxes. That's not going to do anything, right? Donald Trump's going to cut taxes. But see, they have to cut, stop spending. Neither one of them said they're going to cut spending. Spending. We're going to have $20 trillion at the end of this year of, of, of deficit. $20 trillion deficit. I'm telling trillion with a T. Trillion. Not a billion. A trillion. Not a, not a million. Not a billion. A trillion. That's too much. $1 trillion is more than what Europe makes. And, and no one in Europe has a trillion dollar deficit. Or, you know, maybe a billion. Close. A few million. A few hundred million. But... <laughs> 20 trillion and they don't even have if they cut the spending on everything across the line except for social security on that you know retirement and that and then then cut taxes and then and then start creating jobs and and, and free trade open up trade and make sure we we, we sell a lot of stuff uh, new in the united states stuff all over the place instead of just buying stuff from china you know what i mean make made in the usa what if happened to that and make do that then the deficit would slowly go backwards and be paid off. You know, at least pay off half of it, like ten trillion, according to Hillary Clinton's um, thing. 
she'll add nine trillion dollars to it. So it'll go to twenty-nine trillion by the time she finishes like one term, and by the time but Donald Trump finishes one term, he'd be like twenty-four trillion, something like that. His still adding trillions of dollars. We're talking trillions of dollars. Yeah, even he doesn't understand what a trillion dollars is. He knows what a dollar is, right? You know what a dollar is? This is a dollar. This is a dollar. Hey, 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 excuse me, what do you mean what, hey, I, I gave you the dollar for example, what do you mean what dollar, I give you back my dollar, <clears throat> okay, give me a dollar please, okay, thank you, man, <laughs> you just want me to say thank you and please and thank you. Okay, whatever. Anyhow, I wish they were polite. One is a foul mouth. That's Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton talks about people in baskets and, and he, she separates people in groups like white people, black people, Mexicans, and then Bernie Sanders on the bottom. That was her choice for her choices for vice president. Why would Bernie Sanders be on the bottom? And then they were talking about whether Bernie Sanders was a practicing Jew or just a regular Jew. And that's just stupid. And then she's pandering to the black people and the Mexicans to get their vote. Obviously, Donald Trump's not doing that. And, of course, she's pandering to the women saying, I'm a woman. I've always fought for women's rights. Women's rights, except for the women that were assaulted by my husband, Bill Clinton. Oh, no, run away. I know, politics is stupid. That's why I think you just shut up. Don't promise anything. Just become president. Whoever it is, I don't care if it's Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton. Just do your job. Work with Congress. Cut, cut, cut spending. Get rid of the deficit of twenty trillion dollars. Help us grow. Help America grow. Help American businesses grow. Right? Yeah, he knows that. And and uh, stop giving us hot air. Promises don't do anything. It's like in England when everybody thought, oh, Brexit's not going to happen. You know, people are like saying, no, Donald Trump's not going to be president. <gasps> I, don't even, I don't care who's president. As long as they do their job and stop promising us stuff and just do it. Do it. Do what you say. And besides, Congress does, makes all the laws, most of the laws anyways, except for executive orders. And that's crazy. <sighs> and Donald Trump is, is friends with Russia. But, that, but that's not a bad thing. If we, if, we, if we could get Russia to stop being idiotic in, in Syria and other countries, then we could have free trade with them and stuff. And it would be awesome. I mean, the super, two superpowers working together over the planet, along with the UN, right? Yeah, instead of worrying about something. And, if, 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 and Iran, we shouldn't be giving them money. No, no, because they have nuclear power. What? Oh, they're going to have a nuclear bomb. Then they'll just use that excuse that they need nuclear power. Like the North Korean guy. Oh, I know. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk about the North Korean guy. Anyways, I hate politics. Let's talk about Halloween. Halloween is more important. See, people put masks on and they run around and act like people that they're not. You know, kind of like politicians. They put a mask on and they pretend that they're someone else. But they're not. <laughs> Hillary Clinton, she puts a mask on and she pretends to be someone good. But in, in reality, she's evil. And Donald Trump, same thing. Greedy. They're white, greedy, rich people that may or may not do anything for us poor People, I make less than ten thousand dollars a year, which means I'm under the poverty level. What's the poverty level? Fifteen thousand. Was it twelve thousand? Something like twelve thousand or fifteen thousand? I think twelve thousand was the, was the poverty line. I'm ten. I'm below ten thousand, so I'm below the poverty line. That's why I'm doing YouTube in case I ever make money one of these days as a supplement. So if you want to donate to me, go ahead. Give me a dollar. Ah, yeah, I know. It's hard, and the only food stamps I get is like what seventeen dollars a month. Food stamps? Really? I can spend seventeen dollars just one time going to Walmart, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't for my sister and my brother living with me, I'd be hungry a lot, and wouldn't have you know, because buy clothes, and then <laughs> there goes your money, and then bills and all that stuff. And what do you got left for food? They don't think about the poor people. They, they're because one's a billionaire, Donald Trump, and one's a millionaire, Hillary Clinton. Neither one of them remembers. What it's like to be poor because Donald Trump, he started out with a million dollar loan from a little million dollar loan for his dad. I know. And Hillary Clinton, she started out uh, upper upper middle class or something like that. I don't know what she started out with. But she forgot a long time ago when she met Bill Clinton and got into politics and got rich and all that stuff like that. Forgot all about what it's like to be lower down here in Powertyville. Oh, I'm below poverty. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs>
And that's true. Anyhow, happy Halloween, happy holidays. If you're in the United States of America, happy Hall Hall Halloween and happy holidays. Be safe if you go trick-or-treating and, and, and Halloween. And always stay with them. Don't stay in the light. Don't knock on doors that don't have lights on. And if someone doesn't give you a treat, don't throw toilet paper or eggs at their house or something like that. Yeah, especially if it's me. Anyhow, I've got to go and check out people's backyards and make sure they're safe by looking through their windows. Just kidding, I don't do that. Not anymore, not since they gave me the ankle bracelet and told me to stay at home. <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah, the straight jacket, whatever. Anyhow, I'll see you next time, next week, and which is also next month. Uh, someone else will be here, probably Arthur the Thran. If I have time, I'll do the alien. The alien will come down and talk about his second discovery, which is murders. He's, he's going to talk about how some people actually died for for Christ, for, for believing in Jesus, and, and, and for no other, no other reason than that, because they didn't agree with with the national religion. And that's why I don't believe in f official religions. Everybody should have freedom of religion, freedom of press, freedom of speech, you know, freedom of assembly, freedom to protest nonviolently and so forth. Without those freedoms and freedom, of, you know, the right to bear arms and all that, but, you know, like psycho-like, right? And the freedom of not to dress like a psycho clown and scare people. You know what I mean? If we have all those freedoms, then everybody will be okay. But some countries don't do that. Most countries don't do that. Yeah. So God bless America and all other countries that have freedom of, of um, press and all that stuff, such as Great Britain, Canada, and Australia. And I'm just naming the English-speaking countries because I don't know anything about anybody else. <laughs> Sorry. Anyhow, I'm Garrison, and he's Donkey, and you're not. And we'll see you next time where Arthur the Three talks about martyrs. Yeah. And also, he'll talk about how martyrs in some cultures are considered saints and whatnot. Yeah. Anyhow, I gotta go. I got, I got a dollar to spend. Bye-bye. <laughs> and stay out of politics because they suck. I don't know who I'm going to vote for. But remember, a vote for Trump is a vote for Pence. And a vote for Hillary is a vote for... What's that guy's name? Tim Kaine. Uh, whoever these people are. Oh, that's when we ask for God to help us. Literally. Anyways, I'm Gerson. And this is a fascinating digital world. I'm glad you're in it with me. But I've got to go. Bye.